Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and today I am so excited because I am doing a massive cider haul and try on. Now, if you're unfamiliar with cider, they're an online clothing retailer. Um, I became familiar with them in the video that I did where I bought what Instagram recommended for me and cider was one of the brands that was recommended and I ended up getting this dress which is a little bit more of a gothic vibe. Not everything in this is that at all. Um, but this is the dress that I got and I really, really love the dress in it. The quality was good. And so I was like, all right, I really just, I saw some stuff pop up on my Instagram and I'm like, I really want some of this stuff. So I went on and I did a haul and I'm like, this is gonna be so fun. Um, because normally I do subscription box unboxing videos here. Um, but I wanted to kind of throw something different into the mix, so that's what we're doing today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katrina and I am a sub box lover. I love sharing subscription boxes and other things with all of you sub box lovers and others out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, clothing videos, try ons, things like that, go ahead and subscribe and join the sub box lover family. And without further ado, let's jump in the haul. <laughs> Now this is obviously not a subscription. I went out and did this haul. If this is the type of video that you like, let me know. I can start to include more of these on the channel. Also, I'm testing out the quality of these things because if the quality is good, maybe we'll do another sister versus sister outfit buying challenge, which I know you guys really like. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know down below. Um, I will link all of these products um, in the description box below. I'm not working with Cider. I paid for all this with my own money. I think I ended up spending like $259 whoopsie. Um, but I did use a coupon code. I think it was like $305 and then I used a coupon code. Um, I just used one that I found on the internet. So, um, you can kind of do the same thing if you have honey or any of those things that give you the best coupon codes. If I can find a coupon code, I'll link it down below, but it won't be my personal code. So now that the world is opening up and things are happening, I'm like, I want more fun, cute outfits. It's a new season. Like I just need a revamp of my wardrobe. And like I said, I did see some stuff on Instagram and I'm like, oh my goodness. So, um, first of all, I'm going to unbox all of this and just kind of, or unbag it, I guess, and show it to you here. And then we'll do the try on portion. I'm not going to lie. I am so excited to do this video like I don't know it probably isn't I'm it's it's morning when I'm filming this so like my energy isn't fully there but like I am so excited to do this I've been waiting for a few days and like I'm gonna I hope that I feel myself in a lot of these because I got some really really cute stuff all right so the first thing that I'm pulling out of the bag is a sticker sheet um I did get a sticker sheet when I did my order last time so you just get some really cute um stickers they're super fun and like summary they kind of give me like school vibes I don't know why but they're super cute and then everything inside comes in little bags so we'll kind of pull them out as we go through I have outfits in mind so I don't know if I'm gonna pull them out like as outfits but I'll show them as outfits when I try them on also this bag is like so heavy so everything that I got in this video is a size small literally everything tops bottoms everything is a size small um, so as we try things on we'll see if it's true to size or not normally I am a size small um, they do have plus sizes available on their site, but it's not the same stuff. So the regular sizes, I believe, goes through extra large, and then they do have their plus size, which has multiple XL type things. But the And the stuff is super cute, but it is a little bit different from the site. So if you're somebody who is plus size, they may or may not have some of the same items. But anyway, I'll link everything nonetheless. All right. First thing is this here. Okay, this is a lot more cropped than I was anticipating it to be. This is their solid pocket crop top in beige for $26. Now, a lot of these things come in multiple colors. So I think they had this in other colors that were not beige. So if you're seeing some things and you're like, oh, I'm not a huge fan of that color, just know they come with different colors. Um, I don't know, the sleeves are a little weird on this. It looked like it had actual sleeves in the picture online. But this is still super cute, but now I'm like, wow, this is like crop cropped. And it's got the cute little pockets. It is very cute. I'm just hoping that the pants or whatever I got to go with them like come up high enough. Um, <laughs> because the material's not bad. It's not super soft, but it is a nice material. Um, is this gonna be see-through? I think a little bit, but actually not that bad. We'll see when it's on, but a cute little collar. And so 
little safari crop top vibes. All right, the next thing, similar color vibe. This is not what I'm going to wear with this, but it's a pair of cargo shorts. Well, I don't know if they're cargo shorts, but they're little khaki shorts. Um, these are the Solid Pocket Denim Mini Shorts. I got these in khaki for $30. They did have these in different sizes. I feel like these are gonna be super baggy and not cute on me but they look cute online. They don't show them on the models necessarily. Is this gonna give me like diaper butt? I feel like I'm gonna have to wear these very high-waisted. I do not, these are like so cute, but like I question what they're going to look like on. So they have the little side pockets and they're actual are pockets even though they're kind of hinged, but the back does not have any pockets. So cute little khaki. I think I was going a little bit safari vibe with some of the stuff. Now, I I mean, I guess you could wear this together. They're they're close but different. It would be a very summer vibe, but you could wear these together. That's not how I had intended it. These feel very nice. Um, maybe a little bit thinner than I was would have wanted, but they're not bad. They're definitely not bad at all. So, okay. Cute little shorts. I really want to see those on because they could be, that will make or break whether those are actually cute. Okay, this the next thing is very random. I saw this clip and I just thought it was cute. This is the Heart Decor Hair Cloth for $5. Um, I think it was only in gold. And this is what it looks like. I like this because it's not super big. Like, I don't have a ton of hair. So if I wanna clip my hair back, some of the hair clips like in, oh, I love that. I mean, not the way that I just did my hair because I didn't do a very good job. It's got really good tension and it actually feels very nice. I don't love the little rhinestones right here. I think that's a little tacky, but I do like the little hearts. This is a perfect size for my hair. But if you have like a lot of hair, that probably won't work for you. But just because I don't have a lot of hair, I really have trouble finding clips like this that will work for my hair. Okay, I'm actually very, very excited about this clip. Oh, okay, the next thing I'm, I'm really excited about, this is a dress. Um, we'll see if it works. I think this is a dress. I think that's what this is. Um, I am, have a wedding I'm gonna go to here soon and I like just, I loved this dress and I'm like, well, maybe I'll wear it to the wedding and that's my justification. Oh wait, this is a different dress than the other dress. Okay, there's gonna be another blue dress, but I got this dress. It's got these little cutouts and it comes down little cutout. So yeah, this is a different dress. I've got two blue dresses. I love this color blue on myself. It does have a zip down the back. This material feels really nice. And I love the little slit there. Okay, I'm excited about this. I'm excited to see what this looks like on. I don't really own dresses with cutouts. I don't know if cutouts are my thing, but this is very cute. Let me figure out what this is called because it's different from what I thought this was. So this is the solid cutout maxi dress in blue. This retails for $28, so super affordable stuff. Um, but I thought, okay, this will be kind of cute, something a little fun. I love this color on me. It's such a good color for me. So very excited about that. Plus I like that kind of blue color for summer. All right, next up is this. This is a matching set. So when I say matching set, it comes together. So it is the Lady Houndstooth set in multicolor for $42. So you get a top and bottom for $42. This is the top. Oh, look at how cute that is. This has shoulder pads. <laughs> it does have shoulder pads, but they're not like super noticeable, like gaudy shoulder pads. Oh my gosh, I love houndstooth. I don't really own, I think I have one pair of pants that's houndstooth. So this is a little bit cropped. It's got these cute little pearly heart buttons on it. And then to go with it, you have a like high-waisted houndstooth pant. Kind of like with a bell bottom or like a wider leg pant on it. Oh my gosh, and it's got that nice pleat in the front. The I like this material because it's a forgiving material. It's not... Like this isn't the type of thing you'll need to iron. Like that pleat is gonna stay there. You don't need to iron it. It's very soft. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cute. The pants do have front pockets, no back pockets. Oh my, I'm just, like I love this for the top, but the top with the pants is going to be everything. I, that is just like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait to try all of this on. I hope that I actually like the way this stuff looks on me because otherwise I'm gonna be in a really bad mood. But like. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. All right, next out is this. This is the thing that I saw on Instagram and I was like, I am obsessed, I need this. So this is what this looks like. This is the long sleeve buckle top in black, which retails for $24. Now they did have different colors. It's hard to see here, and I think I'm gonna have to have it on, but there's like a, like 
multiple things going on up top and then you have this buckle in the front um, they have this in different colors they have this in different cuts I got it in a different color and cut that's not long sleeve as well but I just thought it gives kind of like that grungy vibe so you have like this double layer it's really hard to show it'll be better to see on and then the back has nothing and just these black long sleeved it's ribbed it feels very very nice oh I love this this is going to be so cute Oh my goodness, I can't wait to wear this. All right, up next, we'll do the white version. You can see the difference better. Now, this is not the long sleeve. This is the solid buckle rib tank top in white. Um, this is $16. Again, this came in black. It came in other colors as well. Um, so this is basically kind of the other thing, but in white. I just thought it was so cute. Um, it does kind of like, it's kind of like a bib in that, like that. It's, I don't know. I just like the layers and the layering. I think this will be super cute, kind of like... I don't know, it just has a really cool vibe to it, and it feels really nice. I think the buckle on this one's actually a little bit bigger than the buckle on the other one. Um, but I'm really excited about this. This is so fun. I love it! Okay, next up is the other blue dress. This is the one that I think I envisioned to maybe wear to the wedding. So the material on this one is much thinner than I was expecting, so it does feel kind of cheap, I'm not gonna lie. But it might be nice because it is a summer wedding that I'm going to and it might be more lightweight. It's very wrinkled, so I'll have to see if I can like steam it to get it out or how that will work. But this is the solid satin slit midi dress in gray for $26. Why can I not figure this out? So this is what it looks like. It has a side zip. It's like a gray blue and then it goes all the way down. I think this is one we're going to have to see on. It does have a little side slit. Um, we're definitely going to have to see this one on to see, but I don't know. The quality on this one, I'm not sure about. It's not bad, but it's just very, very thin. So, like, if it's out in the heat, that's probably not the worst thing in the world, but I don't know. All right, next up we have some pants. So these are kind of like a little bit more of a manly vibe, but these are the solid straight leg trousers in khaki. They retail for $28 got a really wide leg at the bottom. I can't, I need to remember which tops and bottoms I envisioned together, but I had a top specifically envisioned for this, um, but they're just big baggy pants, which is kind of a vibe with like a crappie type top, which I think is kind of how I had this envisioned. I just don't remember which of the tops I had envisioned with this, so I'm gonna have to figure that out, but I think these will be a really cool with the right shirt. Again, I think I need to do a little bit of ironing, but obviously I just got these out of the bag. But the nice, big, wide leg. I don't know if I'm gonna like the wide leg on me, but they looked really cool online. So I was like, all right, we're gonna try these. All right, another pair of pants. These I am like so excited about. These are the solid cargo jeans in black for $30. They've just got such a cool vibe. Again, big bottom legs and I just think these are going to be so awesome. These are really really nice uh, material. These do have back pockets as well um, and I'm really really excited about these. I know which pants I want these or which shirt I want to wear with these so I love a good like kind of baggy cargo pant um, so these feel very nice. Okay the next things are a set but you do have to buy them separately. You could mix and match colors. They had many different colors. I was debating getting the white but then I'm like I don't know how much I'd wear the white. So I got a blue instead. This is also something that got pushed to me via ads many times. So this is the top. This is the solid V wire tank top in navy blue for $18. So I went with a navy blue set. This does zip all the way down the back and has a like a V detail at the front they had this in white and khaki like they have many colors for a lot of these things so if these aren't your colors like definitely check out some of the other things they have available and then to go with it we have the matching pant this is the solid stitch straight leg trousers in navy blue for 32 dollars again wide leg but you got the little crop top with this that goes together um the front pockets have like more of a back pocket detail to them which is really interesting again a little bit wrinkled um but i'm really really excited to see what this looks like on okay that is everything that i got i am so excited to do the try on so let's jump into it oh my goodness i am absolutely obsessed with this this is so freaking cute. It does have the nice little kind of bell bottoms. I might need to tilt my camera angle down more so you can see like the full view, but I love it. It kind of hugs my hips in the right way. This fits me very well. The top's a little bit tighter than the bottoms are. You could belt it if you wanted to, but I think the, a belt, you have to be careful not to ruin the aesthetic of the piece. You definitely need like a black belt. 
This would look super cute with some black heels or even like a black chunky sneaker heel booty kind of thing. This is cute. I will say it's a little bit long if you're not going to wear a heel, so you might have to like roll it up or kind of get it tailored to be a little bit if you're not going to wear it with a heel, but like, oh my gosh, this is like boss woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like sexy. I love this. I am obsessed. This is an absolute win for me. I feel myself in it. I don't own anything like this, but it is still in my aesthetic of like, I don't know. It's just cute. Um, so it does have these three buttons that do unbutton. There's also a button in the middle too on the inside to be able to clasp it. Y'all. Hello. All right, so up next is the blue cutout dress. I really like the dress. I love the color. I think it's a very, very sexy. It's like shows off your curves kind of dress. It doesn't fit me perfectly, so I'm not 100% sure whether or not I will keep it. Um, this is definitely, there's definitely room in here if you have bigger breasts, which I do not. I'm not wearing a bra with this, so I think if I were to wear like a, a strapless or something like a bra in it, it would fill this out just a little bit more. So there is like some extra space here on the side, and if you have bigger breasts, I think you would fill this out a lot better. I just don't. So I could probably, you know, pin it, t tack it, tailor it or whatever. It's also like a little bit big here. Like I have curves, but not like, you know, there's, there is room in this to fit a little bit better. So maybe an extra small would have been better on me. I don't know. Like it fits me well in certain areas, but maybe an extra small would have been better. I don't know if it would have been too small and not comfortable, but I do think it's a really, really pretty dress. So let me know. Do you think this is something that I should keep? Like, I feel like it's not like that. It doesn't fit me that bad. And it does give me room to grow in case I gain a little weight or I'm eating like pasta when I'm eating, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm not opposed to it. I love the slit in it. I think it is a very, very cute dress. The fit just isn't 100% on me. So if you're a size small normally and you have bigger breasts or bigger hips, I think this will fit you absolutely perfectly. Hi. I am obsessed. I added the belt to the pants. The pants without the belt were a little too loose and came down a little bit, but with the belt, this look is everything. Got the nice wide legs. I am going to post on my Instagram full body shots if you want to like see them styled and me like posing or whatever. I will post um, for all the outfits. I'll post it on Instagram so you'll be able to like kind of swipe through it. This is so cute. Now what I will say is this is very, very cropped. And when I don't have the belt on, let me kind of undo it and look. It comes down like, and then this looks really butch almost because of, I don't know, not in like a bad way, but I prefer it a little bit higher up um, and held up. And I just think that looks so classy. This black belt, I don't know where I got it from, to be honest. Um, I feel like maybe in a box. Um, but this with like a black pair of heels, which is how I wear it. I'm going to wear it in the picture. Um, it's so cute. You can button this all the way up if you want to go for more of like a masculine vibe. But... I kind of like it open like this. I was not sure about this outfit. When I first put it on, I'm like, I'm not sure. So this is an outfit where if you buy both of these pieces, you might need to do a little bit of styling work. It has pockets. These pants are very, very comfortable. They've got that, you know, this is kind of a more masculine vibe, but when you throw on the pair of heels, it's like, you are a boss, babe. This look is everything. I, y'all, I am obsessed. I think I'm de we're definitely going to have to do a sister buys outfits type of video because like this is everything like I really really love this I just feel like this is a real these are just some really cute outfits I don't own stuff like this and maybe that's why I'm so excited because like I feel like this is the vibe that I want to be but I just never wear I normally just wear a t-shirt you know and this is just so 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 good all right so this look is a little bit of a wah wah a flop and that the top is way too big on me but the pants fit me really really well i really like the pants and i love the vibe that this could be but like like i could i need to like pinch in like that much then it's cute it does show off a little bit more tummy um and it's zippered in the back i wish it was more of like a clasping situation that way you could make it tighter or looser so if you do have larger breasts i feel like the, some of their stuff is made for if you have larger breasts and isn't super forgiving if you don't um, so I wish that this had more. I think I'm gonna have to return this. Maybe an extra small will work, but I'm like, is it even worth doing an exchange? So maybe I'll exchange this for an extra small. I don't like love, love the look in general. Like, I don't hate it. It's not bad at all, but I just don't know. I don't know how returns or exchanges work with that. <laughs> That's the other thing. Um, so top is a flop. The pants are cute. Um, I might, like I said, an extra small might work better for me. I'm not really... 
I'm not really sure, but just if you're a size small with itty bitties, this is not gonna work for you and it, or may not work for you, I don't know, but like that's where my side is and that's how far it comes out, like it's too big. That This is a top that needs to be on tight. So, a little disappointed. Hi, I am back to being obsessed. I love, love, love this look. Had to pull the belt back out again. Um, I'm finding that their high-waisted pants don't go high enough for me. I like them a little bit higher. So I don't know if that means I need to go down a size to an extra small, which seems weird to me. I never wear an extra small in pants because I do have wide hips. So it's just something to keep in mind if you're picking out a size that it's, they might be a little bit bigger than your actual size. At least with me, that's what I'm finding with some of these high-waisted pants. With the belt, I love it. It is so cute. This top has these cutouts. I wish, so like online you can see the cutouts more. I wish they were more prevalent. Part of the problem is that um, they, like it opens up on the side. And so like, I don't know, like it just, it doesn't open up. I wish it was more prevalent, like, like that was the case. But you do have the buckle there. I don't know if with the belt and buckle it's a lot, but at least with these shorts I feel like I need to. I could obviously wear this top with different bottoms, but I really like the shorts. At first I'm like, oh no, these are a little bit too like, I pooped my pants, like baggy, you know what I mean? Um, but they really, really work. I think my butt looks so good in them. Uh, I love the belt with this. I'm like obsessed with this belt. I forgot I even owned it and it's like giving me everything I ever needed. Um, but this is so cute. It's like, I don't know, this top gives me like Kim Possible vibes. I don't even know what Kim Possible wore, but like it just is giving me Kim Possible vibes. So, and then the bottom is, it's like Kim Possible Safari. I don't really know, but I'm like, hi, I feel myself in these clothes. I'm loving these. This is so different from what I normally wear. So like, loving it. All right, another flop. The top areas just aren't working out for me. Um, I don't like this. I'm not feeling myself. I'm not even gonna post a full picture of this on my Instagram because I just went to try to take a picture of myself in this and I like, this is not making me feel good about myself and the pictures, I just look miserable. This is just, it's too, it's too big. Like, way too big. It fits me from like here down. It fits me great, fits my hips really well. But I just, they, their stuff is kind of designed with people for larger breasts, which is totally fine. Um, but, I don't know, this just doesn't look good. It doesn't look cute. I'm not a fan. It doesn't, it feels comfortable, but it's just not, it doesn't fit me. So, I need to figure out their returns because I didn't even look into that. I didn't even, like, think about returning anything. So, um, we'll see if I can return this. If not, I'll need to find somebody who's a size small, but with big boobies. All right. Final look, I really like the pants. The top is cool, but we'll talk about it in a second. The pants are super awesome. They're a thicker material. I really like the way they feel. These ones are fine without the belt, but I think I like the way they sit on me a little bit better. So I'm starting to question, am I an extra small on Cider's site? If I am, then that means if you're extra small, there's probably gonna be stuff that's too big for you. So just kind of throwing that out there. Now the top, I like it, but I don't love it. Um, so first of all, there are is a double layering of fabric, so it, I'm not wearing a bra, but I feel like it's covering my nipples enough with the double layer of fabric that like you can't see the color differentiation. But what I will say is that they tack this on the sides so that it's like, I don't know, but it's not tacked in the right space for my personal chest. So I wish it hadn't been tacked. Um, because if it wasn't, then this could go in the back and this could go forward and it would fit my personal chest much, much better. So I wish they hadn't done that because again, that tacking is for somebody who has bigger breasts and can fill out this space, which I just can't. So I wish they hadn't done that so that I could have, you know, done it myself or whatever the case may be. Um, all that being said, I do still think this is a super duper cute outfit. Um, I do like the way that it looks, but um, you will, like, this is white and you can't really wear a bra with this. So you're going to have to wear pasties or something if you're, you know, if you're going to be worried about that. I would be because if this moves, which it will, so you probably do need to wear something underneath, but they have this in other colors. They have this in black. They have this in other things. But again, these will fit you a lot better if you're somebody who has bigger breasts. It just seems like their products are kind of made a little bit more for that. But that being said, I do like this outfit. All right, back for final thoughts. All in all, I'm super happy with the Cider haul. I feel like my like neutral black looks tended to do a little bit better. Like the blues were almost all a flop except for the cutout dress. So I think uh, I need to figure out returns, but I think the satiny blue dress that did not fit me at all. And then the top and pants, I probably will return um, if I can just because that just wasn't really my vibe. 
This is probably my favorite thing. I love this top. I loved all the pants and shorts, the little high-waisted moments. Um, the I like the black and white kind of belty or snap things, but the white was not, it just didn't fit me as well. I think I'm still gonna keep it. Not 100% sure on that, because I do kind of like it, and it could be like a bathing suit cover up type thing too. Um, but all in all, I thought this was so, so fun. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Which was your favorite outfit? The other thing is that you can mix and match. So like right now, I'm wearing those like cargo pants with this top. So while I wore them as a specific outfit, you know, there's some mixing and matching that you can do. I got some stuff that will kind of work together, which is so it's, that's kind of cool. Um, and I'll be excited to kind of pair them with different things. I'll try to link everything down below in case you want to purchase some of the things. Definitely let me know down below. Do you want to see another sister versus sister video? where we buy each other outfits and I think I would want to do cider I think this is a great one so definitely let me know is that something you guys would want to see or not I would love 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 to hear your thoughts down in the comments below later this week I have a collective haul coming so if you want to see some other stuff that I've hauled um, from like clothing to skincare to home decor to laundry detergent all that kind of stuff I do have a collective haul coming this week if that's something you're interested in but also more subscription box content so again let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.